Gelatin and agar-agar are two of the most fascinating ingredients in the culinary world. These seemingly simple substances hold the power to transform liquids into jellies, desserts, and other delightful creations. But while their uses often overlap, the story of gelatin and agar-agar is one of contrast, rooted in their origins, compositions, and cultural significance. To truly understand what sets these two apart, we must delve into their history, properties, and the science that makes them such versatile culinary tools. Gelatin has been a staple in kitchens for centuries, originating from the animal kingdom. Derived from collagen found in the connective tissues, bones, and skins of animals, primarily cows and pigs, gelatin is a protein-rich substance prized for its gelling properties. The process of creating gelatin involves boiling these animal parts to extract collagen, which is then purified and dried into a powder or sheet form. Historically, gelatin was a luxury item reserved for the tables of the wealthy, where it appeared in elaborate molded dishes that showcased its ability to hold intricate shapes. Agar agar, by contrast, hails from the plant world. This vegetarian-friendly alternative is derived from red algae, specifically species like Galidium and Gracilaria. The name agar originates from the Malay word for jelly, and its use can be traced back centuries in Southeast Asian cuisine. Discovered by accident in Japan, agar agar gained widespread popularity as a thickening agent and a staple in desserts. Unlike gelatin, which requires animal byproducts, Agar agar caters to a broader audience, particularly vegetarians and vegans seeking plant-based alternatives. One of the key differences between gelatin and agar agar lies in their chemical composition. Gelatin is a protein which gives it a unique elastic texture and a melt-in-the-mouth quality when used in desserts like panna cotta or jellies. This quality stems from its ability to form flexible, thermoreversible gels meaning it melts at body temperature and re-solidifies when cooled. Agar-agar, on the other hand, is composed of polysaccharides, or complex sugars. Its gels are firmer and more brittle compared to gelatin, making it an excellent choice for applications that require a stable, solid structure, such as layered jellies or molded shapes. The preparation and handling of these two gelling agents further highlight their differences. Gelatin is delicate and requires gentle heating to dissolve, usually in warm water or liquid. It activates at relatively low temperatures, around 35 to 40 degrees Celsius, 95 to 105 degrees Fahrenheit, and sets as it cools. Its lower melting point means that gelatin-based desserts often have a luxurious, creamy texture, but must be kept cool to retain their structure. Agar agar, by contrast, is much more heat tolerant. It dissolves at a higher temperature, around 85 to 90 degrees Celsius, 185 to 194 degrees Fahrenheit, and sets quickly as it cools to around 35 to 40 degrees Celsius, 95 to 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Once set, agar agar remains stable even at room temperature, making it ideal for dishes that need to hold their form in warmer climates. This resilience makes agar-agar a favorite for gelatinous desserts in tropical regions, as well as for scientific applications like Petri dishes in microbiology. Culturally, gelatin and agar-agar reflect the traditions and preferences of the regions that embrace them. In the West, gelatin has long been synonymous with desserts like jelly, mousse, and marshmallows. It has also found its way into savory dishes like aspics and terrines where it acts as a binding agent. Its association with indulgence and festivity has made it a beloved ingredient in classic comfort foods and confections. In Asia, agar agar enjoys a similar cultural significance. From the delicate jellies of Southeast Asia to the traditional and mitsu desserts of Japan, agar agar is celebrated for its versatility and plant-based origins. It is often used in combination with fruits syrups and beans to create desserts that are as visually stunning 
as they are delicious. Beyond sweets, agar-agar plays a role in molecular gastronomy, where chefs harness its unique gelling properties to craft avant-garde dishes. The nutritional profiles of gelatin and agar-agar also set them apart. Gelatin, being protein-based, offers some health benefits, such as supporting skin, hair, and joint health. However, it is calorie-dense and unsuitable for those following vegetarian or vegan diets. Agar-agar, being derived from algae, is high in fiber and virtually calorie-free, making it a popular choice for those seeking healthier alternatives. It also has a mild laxative effect due to its fiber content, which can aid digestion. Despite their differences, both gelatin and agar-agar are incredibly versatile and adaptable, finding roles in a variety of industries beyond the culinary world. Gelatin is widely used in pharmaceuticals, cosmetics, and photography, while agar-agar is essential in scientific research for growing bacteria and studying microorganisms. Their applications highlight their unique properties and underscore their importance in fields far removed from the kitchen. In the modern era, the choice between gelatin and agar-agar often comes down to dietary preferences and specific culinary needs. Gelatin's smooth, elastic texture makes it perfect for creamy, luxurious desserts, while agar-agar's stability and plant-based origins make it an ideal alternative for those seeking vegetarian or vegan options. Understanding the nuances of these ingredients allows cooks to choose the best one for their creations. Whether they're crafting a delicate mousse, a firm jelly, or a scientific experiment. Ultimately, the story of gelatin and agar-agar is one of diversity and discovery. These two gelling agents, though different in origin and application, share a common thread. They both transform the ordinary into the extraordinary. Whether you're savoring a classic gelatin dessert or marveling at the precision of an agar-agar mold, you're partaking in a culinary tradition that celebrates innovation and creativity. Thank you for diving into the fascinating world of gelatin and agar-agar with us. If you enjoyed exploring the science and history behind these culinary marvels, don't forget to like and subscribe to History of Food. Stay tuned for more delicious discoveries, and we'll see you in the next episode.